So these days you can find just about anything you want on TikTok. But when it comes to your health, there are more and more so-called nutrition trends than ever before. Thing is, experts say, if they're not backed up by a real doctor, you could be putting your health at risk. Take a look. Whether it be cloves of garlic up your nose, I've been seeing people or drinking cup after cup of chlorophyll. That's exactly what we like to say. Or dipping cucumbers in sugar, all three now trending on TikTok. The makers of the videos most likely not medically trained, but that doesn't stop countless people from trying it firsthand to see if it works. We showed the videos to Kristen Hendricks of Corpus Christi. <laughs> I've never heard that one. That sounds ridiculous. Hendrix, her husband, and their young son out on the bayfront, getting some fresh air and exercise. No mobile device in hand. Do you trust TikTok that much? Uh, somewhat. Beatriz Torino, a student at Miller High School, she is on TikTok. Would you do any of those? I've heard of the garlic one, and I like cucumbers, so probably the cucumber one. And then we showed some of the videos to Chantel Togorepi, a student at Texas A&M Corpus Christi with a major in education. Would you put garlic up your nose? Actually, yes. Is that because it was on TikTok? No, because it's getting all of the bacteria that's in her nasal. You see this platform in these videos as information rather than as entertainment. It can really harm your health. Jonathan Baylor is a New York Times best-selling author as well as the CEO of a metabolic healing company. Baylor just releasing the documentary Better after working hand-in-hand -hand with top doctors at Harvard Medical School. 15-second videos on TikTok are not the key to really anything in life. But how can people make that distinction? It's very simple. TikTok is not a reliable source of information. We did spend quite a bit of time putting together a new documentary. It really does explore a new way of eating and thinking and living that allows you to live better and be better long-term rather than sticking cloves of garlic up your nose. The reason it seems so confusing is because Dr. TikTok and Dr. Facebook present entertainment as if it was medical information, and it's not. Baylor making the point both nutrition and biology are sciences. That's why he says you should turn to the experts, and there's a good chance they're not on TikTok. So then what do you recommend people do instead of going to Dr. TikTok? If you literally just try to eat a little bit more vegetables this week than you did last week, or a little bit more vegetables for your kids this week than you did last week over 52 weeks. If you continuously do just that week over week, by January of 2023, you'll be amazed at how much better you feel and how much better you look. Now, once we told people about these videos and the dangers some doctors say they could cause, they had some advice for others. Don't listen to TikTok but actually look up what they're doing on medical websites. And for Hendrix and her family, her advice? One, use common sense. Two, do research. Or three, ask your doctor if you're really not sure. That's your medical doctor, not Dr. TikTok. Bottom line here, not everything you see or hear on TikTok is truth. Breaking news, right? And when it comes to your health, you want to make sure you're doing your best to stay healthy. So if you want to lose weight, clear your sinuses, get more energy, or maybe even strengthen your immune system, yes, as we always say, see your actual doctor.